This is Devrat Gosha. I am Infosys Security Research Analyst from ISO Gage. Today we will be discussing about the frequencies. So as we know that in our old ways frequencies are attached to ourselves right. From starting from TV remote to microwave to airplanes everything is depending on frequency. They send some frequencies, we receive that, we decode that signal and we find different kind of informations through that. So today we will be discussing about that thing. Now today's topic will be how can in information security respective, how can we deduce different kind of frequencies, we can decode that and we can do different kind of manipulations with that frequencies to get different informations and also we can change that thing. For example, I am taking a simple FM station. As you all know that we heard FM, different kind of frequencies, megahertz are using there. So, using some of the devices, we can capture that. Frequencies is just like things as we send some bytes of information from one server to one receiver and that receiver understand that signals, they decode that. Okay, same thing also happens in case of the our information security respective, we have one device. The device is known as RTL HDR. Using that device, we can also decode that frequencies. We can also capture that. Now, for example, when I was talking about the FM, we can hear different kind of FM radio signals. Not only on hearing, that is a very basic thing. We can also do some changes in our local respective. What is the power of our antenna that will tell us the range where we can do the modulations. Suppose we have captured one of the things, one of the FM radios and I want to change that signal. I also can use some of our voice, some of the songs we can inject there and we can change that up to our local area. So anyone if open that FM station, they can hear our voice. So we can practically do changes in the signals. Now this is a very lower systems. Now if we just move into higher one, let us talk about the airplanes. Now guys do you know when the airplane flies above, they receive different kind of instructions from the ATC, the controller and also they send that. Now if we can capture that message, we can also see that in which altitude the airplane is working, what is their company name, what is their current position, everything. Not only that, we can send some illegal signals to that plane so that some hampers can occur. So this is very bad and this is very dangerous. So as a cyber sec guy, I will just show you a demonstration how can we receive that information. Now as we are talking about the signals, frequency, the plane flies at a certain height and send the signals in a certain frequency range. No one can match that. Okay, so we have to capture the signal of that frequency, then we can just show that information, we can just dump that codes of signal and we can see what the plane is trying to say us. So, in 1090 megahertz, the airplane flies and we will try to capture that particular frequency to decode some of the information. So, as you can see, so this screen is showing me different kind of information. Let us try to understand what is this thing. See, this is a box. This is our receiver. We are receiving the signals and you can see that there are some of the hex values. We are decoding it and in the, work, in the graphical manner, we can see through this signal, we can see that one of the flight that is VT IBM IGO 3650 is around our location and we can also see where it is located currently and not only that, we can also see that in which current altitude it is flying, it is 3650 feet, what is the speed of the plane, what is the company that is an Airbus Integra Airline, what is the speed of that heading every information we can get. Now this signal is being transmitted from the flight to the control station that is located in our airport. Okay, so we can receive that because signals is just not any restricted manner. We are just decoding the information given by them. So here we can also send some signal to back to that plane. It will not understand where from the signal is coming and we can do some malicious activity. Okay. So this is one of the thing that I want to show you the demonstration how we can track the flight, how we can track different kind of information regarding it, how to decode the signal and not only that I will not show you here now how to send the malicious information but that also can be done. 
So RF, that is radio frequency, is playing a very vital role in today's cyberspace. Okay, we can't misuse it, or we have to know that what we are doing. So everyone should understand how to use the signals. And if I want to talk about the mitigations, when you are sending some information through the radio frequency or signals, just what you have to do, decode that, not encode that signal in a proper manner. So whichever person will decode that, only have that person will be having the key so that they can understand. What we are doing here, we are just decoding the signals and we can just understand the information. That can't be done. When you are working, like for example what military guys do, they send some encrypted signal to other person and the person who are decrypting it only have that key. So that kind of things should be implemented everywhere. Otherwise, there will be a huge security lapse and that we can see that you know, in a huge security lapse and that can be used for a very kind of malicious activity. A terrorist activity can also be done. The planes also can be hijacked, that there can be cause an accident. Okay, so we have to take care of this kind of thing. So in this today's video, that was a very good information about the RF, the radio frequencies, how can I use that and how to stop that thing and how to do some mitigations regarding it. So I hope that if you enjoyed the video, do like the video and if you have some information to ask, write in the comment section, we will be very much happy to answer you the questions and in our office, we try to make the students understand how to work with the RTLSD device, how to get the information of the signal, how to decode that or how to encode some proper signal. If you want to learn more about the IoT courses, just come to us, we will be very much happy to make you understand what is going on currently. See, in this today's market, the network and web also play a vital role, but we are moving towards the industrialization way. It is industry 5.0 where IoT plays a very important role and when IoT is there, signals will be also there. So we have to also properly work on the signals, how we are transmitting that, how we are receiving that. Okay. Thank you guys. Hope you have learned a lot of things today. Bye. Meet you in the next video.